Hello everybody, just a quick video here explaining how you can set up multiplayer uh, for air racing if you are on the Epic Games platform. Just want to quickly preface this video by saying that setup is really simple, really quick, even if it may seem a bit complicated at first. But once you've done all the setup, getting into multiplayer games from that point onwards is super easy. And if you are interested in racing with other players, either casually or very competitively, then make sure you stop by the Airways Discord. Always welcome new people into the scene and look forward to racing with new players. Anyway, on to the video. Okay, so head over to backersmod.com, click the download button. Okay, so with Backers Mod installed, go ahead in game and press F2 to open up this menu. Then we are going to click Plugins, Plugin Manager, Open Plugin Manager. And up here, we're going to type number 26, click Install by ID. And that will install the Rocket plugin for you here. All you need to do is go ahead and tick that box. Um, whilst we are here, there is another plugin that you will need for multiplayer airways um, for the new game mode that is coming out, and that is the Netcode plugin here. So you can go ahead and install that now by typing 166 install by ID and then clicking that box there. Okay, so now we need to create a folder for the map files that we will be downloading shortly. Um, you want to find your Epic Games installation folder and the default should be uh, on your C drive, program files, Epic Games, Rocket League and from here we want to go to TA Game, Cuts PC Console and here we're going to right click, create a new folder and we're going to call it Mods. Okay so I've left a link in the description to get to this page where you can find the beach map and going forward, as we add new maps to the scene, I'll update the uh, the links in the description there for people. But once here, you want to copy this link or just copy it directly from the description. And then you want to come to this, the Steam Workshop Downloader. Again, the link is in the description for you. We want to paste the file there. We can see it come up, pan its airways. We click the download button. Okay, now that download is complete, we can show it in the folder. We're going to open up our mods folder that we created earlier. We're going to put that in there. We're going to extract here. We don't need that anymore. We don't need the JPG and we don't need the VDF. All we need is this panicsairways.ugk, which is the map file, which is now in your mods folder. That's all you need to do with this. We can close it down. Unfortunately, there is no official multiplayer workshop support in-game at the moment, so to connect with other players or the host of a lobby, we use two programs, Grabmin VPN and Logmein Hamachi, and this allows us to connect to other players via IP address, but don't worry, your actual IP address will never be on display for other players. Um, the only difference between these two programs really is that there is a five player per network limit with Hamachi But if you do have more than five players, you can create additional networks. So you don't really need to worry about that um, In the competitive air racing scene, for example during tournaments We run both of these VPNs side by side to allow players to pick whichever one they want Just in case you are having connectivity issues with one or the other so if you are looking to start playing uh, air racing competitively, then please download and install both of these. Um, if you are looking to just play casually with friends, then you can get either one. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, the links are in the description for both of these programs. So go ahead and download one or both of these. So with Ragmin and Hamachi both installed, this is what they look like. The first thing you should really do with both of these is change your display name to match your in-game name so that people know who you are. So with Radmin, all you need to do with that is right click around your name and press the change name button. And with Hamachi, you will go to system, preferences, and you can see your name here and you can change it right there. Okay, so moving on to joining a multiplayer lobby, the first thing you need to do is be in a VPN with the host of the lobby. In this uh, particular example, we're going to be using Hamachi, but the uh, 
The instructions are pretty much the same in Radmin, so you should be able to follow for either or either. We're going to click join an existing network and put in the details that the, uh, the host has given us. We click join, we can see the host there. We're going to click copy IPv4 address and then we're going to go in game, press the home key to open up the rocket plugin. We're going to paste the IP in here. Now the first time you ever do this and this is a one off thing, you need to click join a custom map and it's always there and then you need to click copy map and restart and then we're going to restart the game. Okay, so we've restarted the game. We can open up the rocket plugin again, paste in the IP there. We no longer need to click joining a custom map. It's only a one-off thing the first time you start up the map. So all we need to do now is click the join button. And there we have it. We are in the lobby all ready to go. Okay, so if you want to host a game for other players, pretty much the same thing. Make sure that you are in a shared VPN with those players. Uh, a quick note here, if you are using Kamachi, it does have a limit of five players per server. So if you need more than five players, simply create a new network here for the additional players. So in game, we're going to press the home key. And as we are hosting, we're going to be using all of this on the left side here. We're going to click enable custom maps, pan its airways already pre-selected there. We're going to put it up to eight players. Uh, match length unlimited, maximum score one goal. Uh, this is for in the event that you want to save a replay, you can add a goal in the match at any point to end the game and save replay. Uh, boost amount unlimited and demolish disabled and then we're going to click host. That's it, we've got the lobby up, so now we just need to wait for other players to join. And that is about it, really.